Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted a video. I was thinking on posting this video in the month of February, but it took me longer than that because I was so busy. But now it's here. I was also afraid but that the topic may not be as fresh, but it's better late than never. So the topic for today's video is about Bagyong Odette or its international name, Rai. I will talk about what I did before, during, and after the typhoon. You can also watch some videos about this topic if you are curious. I will also paint a gouache painting of the destruction of the typhoon. And I will talk about it later. Now let's begin. That noon at December 16, I was just painting, watching YouTube videos as usual. and. The sky is already stormy and the wind is already strong, but still I just ignore it. At 7 p.m. when the typhoon is finally arrived in our area, the rain and the wind is going crazy, going on different direction, leaves just flying everywhere, going inside our home, and the floor is, and the floor was filled with water. The leaks are everywhere. My mother tried to get all the water on the floor but it was no use because the water kept coming back. It was night. That's why I don't have any film except this. The wind was howling. I just slept it off. And I think, well, wait for the morning and see the destruction of the destruction of this typhoon. After I wake up early in the morning, seeing a massive difference on the landscape. The ground is filled with leaves and many trees has fallen. The bamboo near our place has also fallen. Electric poles has also fallen. People are just walking around to see the destruction. There is so much destruction. There is also no signal for 3 days. Even though our area is in the south and not directly hit to the eye of the typhoon, the destruction that it left is still massive. Also that day, we were worried about the water supply because the water stops running because of the typhoon. People are going everywhere to find a refilling station. We were also one of them. We spent day just to get a mineral water or drinkable water. There's also a limit on how many people can get a gallon of water. People also hoarding gasoline. That week most of the gasoline station ran out of supply. But after three weeks, things got in a little bit better. There's now a little bit supply of running water. We didn't have an electricity for two months. We spent the Christmas with an hour electricity. That's why I'm not been so active this past month, guys. That's all guys on my experience for this past month. Now I'm going to explain what I am painting here. So this painting is the aftermath of Bagyong Udet. This picture is taken on Shergao, one of the islands in the Philippines. And also they are one of the first islands to get hit by the typhoon. It shows the damage. It shows the damage of the typhoon. Things just scattered all over the ground. I hope you guys also pray for all the people who got hit greatly because of the typhoon or that. The brand of the gouache that I use in this video is Tahimi Jelly Gouache. I have made a review about it. Check out that video. I painted this piece for 3 hours. One thing I like about gouache is that it won't bleed on the paper since this paper is so thin and you can layer so many colors. Now I will wrap up this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Stay safe.